Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So I'm pretty excited today because I'm actually going to walk you through a tool that I use a lot when it comes to documentation for code. I've been using Markdown for the last few years and I really recommend it for anybody that is working on a game. And not only if you're working on a game, but if you're documenting the process, it might be the build process, it might be anything specific to your game that you want other people to read about, I would really recommend to use Markdown. So what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna show you a tool that I use in Visual Studio Code, which is a preview of Markdown and it's really, really easy to use. I'm also gonna provide you with a website that gives you more information about you know, what different syntax Markdown requires, how you can actually create a list, how you can actually create headers, how you can create a table, and also snippets of code. So let's actually jump into Visual Studio Code and start working on it. Today I want to show you how to use Markdown with Visual Studio Code. I use Markdown a lot for documentation about my games, documentation that, you know, for tools that I might need to release and document. So what I'm going to show you is how to actually install an extension that I like a lot. So I'm going to search for Markdown Lint. And then it's going to be the first one, then just hit install. Once it installs, it's ready to go. So I'm just going to close out of this. And for, for most repos, you normally have a readme.md. The MD is the extension for Markdown. And I have this readme file in a repo that I created recently to document the process of building a Mac, a Unity 3D Mac game. So I have a few things in here that I want to show you. So if I hold Shift Command P, Shift Command P, and then type in Markdown, you can kind of see that I have different options. I can open the preview. I can change the preview security settings, open lock preview to the side. So there's different things that I can do. I'm just simply going to click on open preview. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just snap it. Actually, let's just click on the vertical split. And then I'm just going to snap it to the right. And we can kind of see side to side what the how the code looks like. And then a preview or the markdown. So one of the things that I that I tell people to, to do whenever they're they're doing markdown is to go to a site that I that I really like that has a lot of documentation on on different commands. So I'm gonna put that in the description of this video. So if you search for markdown on the web you're gonna get a markdown cheat sheet that I that I like to use a lot and that will give you an overview of anything that is available in markdown. So if you want to know how to create headers, you can use basically that area to determine how to do that. So it's one pound for one header, header one, two pounds for header two, and then so on. And there's a lot of information in here. So for instance, if you wanted to do an order list, you can do one and then period, two and period, and that's going to create an order list for you. You can also use an another list, which is going to be a star. And we can keep going and looking at more information about, you know, Markdown. If you want to do links, this is the syntax. If you want to do images and so on. So one, one thing that is really cool is you can actually do Markdown with code, which is actually going to create a kind of like a sub view of the code. And it looks really clean. So let me show you how that works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Visual Studio Code and I'll show you if I wanted to create a snippet, for instance, in this file, I have some instructions to say replace all instances of your game, your underscore game underscore name in sign.sh file. Then I say open the terminal and execute the following command. So what I could do here is I could simply just do say that this is bash. And then at the end of this, I could say that this is the, en the ending of that. So open the terminal and execute the following command. You can say column, and then here's the bash command that we need to execute. And we can say which will sign and generate a, p a package file. Perfect. So as you can notice, I kind of lost, if I, I kind of lost the next line I can just say which will sign and generate a package file. We can, we can say that. And perfect. Then number six is going to be the next instruction. So I could actually expand this and add more code. So you can say, you know, I might need a sign game that is age. 
and then a parameter build and we can say that this is for Mac OS and I could have another line here that says okay this is for iOS and then etc 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 so I'm gonna leave these like this the other thing that I have in here is watch the YouTube video explaining a step-by-step -step process first and I need to specify the URL of the YouTube video so I'm gonna say watch the YouTube video explaining a step-by-step -step process as described in the following URL and we can we can simply put a URL in there so I could say YouTube video and then we can have square brackets and I can get the link to the video so if we go to that video and let me go into my channel and if I go into that video here hey guys, and I don't want to play it okay let's go back in here and you can see that I actually have these on the run order so it's square brackets is for the title and then parentheses is going to be for the link to the video so what I could actually do is copy these next step let's see video explaining a step-by-step -step process so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste it here so watch the YouTube video which explains the step by step process of how to build a Unity 3D game for Mac OS slash app Mac App Store. Excellent. So as you can see I have I have a link in here and I also did something new which is the command to sign the game so the other thing that you can see that I have in here is I have a step-by-step -step process I could actually do a star here if I wanted an, an order list and that way I don't have to specify you know step one is this a step two is there so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change all of these ones to start instead of number because there there's really not much of an order and I don't want to keep track of each one of them individually or if you have one in the middle then I don't have to I don't want to have to change all of them and we can change this one as well so the other thing that I did here is I have a I have a pound symbol in the title so this is going to be an h1 tag if I wanted to change it to h2 I could simply add another one h3 it's going to be by adding another one so I did two on this one because that was the subtitle and then I have kind of a an overview of what this repository was for and I have another one here which I might do as a let's do four pounds it's an h4 just to highlight it perfect and I like all of that so the other thing that you can do as well if we go back to the documentation not only we can do code and we can do headers we can also do tables so for instance if I were to copy this we could simply copy and paste it and we get a table below so if I wanted to say for instance this was you know what kind of builds or build utilities are available in this repository I could say build tool and this could be version and we don't need the, the last tab so I'm just gonna leave the last last column so I'm gonna leave that one blank and we can leave this kind of hard line which is what you're seeing right here so I'm gonna say build tool for Mac and Mac App Store and then the version we can say this is version 1.0.0 I don't need that last one I also don't need that one and you can have as much space as you want in here this doesn't really matter the pipes just designate the ending of the column so I'm gonna maybe I'll just align it just for for so that it looks good perfect and if I wanted to add another row I could simply just copy this row let's say that this is for iOS iOS tool I can say that instead of saying Mac App Store we can say Mac tool and this is this might be version 2 and then and then so on so we can 
simply copy paste copy paste copy paste if we if we keep adding different versions so that's really how you do tables in, in markdown so other things that you can do we can look in here is you can also do inline html so you're not constrained to using markdown you can also use html inline html in your markdown which i don't really enjoy using but you're welcome to use it if you like so you can also do horizontal rules so if we wanted to add uh, a horizontal rule on the very top we could do that one which adds two or we can do three asterisks which also adds those and if we do kind of like that perfect so if you want to do three underscores you can also do that as well so we can say you know three underscores and that it's also going to add the horizontal rules you can also do line breaks as described in this in this section we could add links to youtube videos just like we did before so it's pretty straightforward on how to use markdown you can also do so if i wanted to highlight let's say i wanted to highlight unity 3d here you can also do double stars at the beginning and at the end you can see that unity 3d is now bolded and that works really well then let me see if i miss anything else i think that's basically the the you know the high level overview of markdown so what i'm going to do is i'm going to be pushing this example to the repository that i did for the mac tools and you're welcome to look at it i'm going to delete the table because it's really not needed for this because this is actually going to go live and people that are looking at the at the other video are going to rely on this information but just keep in mind that this is available there you can look at it as an example I'm gonna put it in the description of this video for you to, you know, to reference. And the other thing that I'm that I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna add the link to this cheat sheet, which I really really like. And you're welcome to, you know, to go over over it. And if you have any questions about anything that I mentioned, let me know through the comments. And don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Thank you guys.